Do you know this wretched girl? Lyanna Mormon. The Lord Commander's niece. Lady of Bear Island. Welcome to Bear Island. And a child of ten. Bear Island knows no king. The king in the north, whose name is Stark. That amuses you. Northerners can be a bit like the free folk. Loyal to their own. Father always said Northerners are different. More loyal. I remember when you were born, my lady. You were named for my Aunt Liana. You said she was a great beauty, I'm sure you will be too. I doubt it. My mother wasn't a great beauty or any other kind of beauty. She was a great warrior, though. She died fighting for your brother, Rob. Rob is gone. But House Stark is not. And it needs your support now more than ever. I understand how you feel. You never thought you'd find yourself in your position, being responsible for so many lives at such a young age. Your son was butchered at the Red Wedding, Lord Mandley. But you refused the call. This isn't someone else's war. It's our war. You swore allegiance to House Stark, Lord Glover. But in their hour of Raiders' need, you refused the call. And you, Lord Kerwin, your father was skinned alive by Ramsay Bolton. Still, you refused the call. Your uncle, Lord Commander Mormont, made that man his steward. He chose John to be his successor because he knew he had the courage to do what was right, even if it meant giving his life. House Mormont has kept faith with House Stark for a thousand years. But House Mormont remembers. The North remembers. We will not break faith today. We know no king, but the king in the North whose name is Stark. I don't care if he's a bastard. Ned Stark's blood runs through his veins. He's my king from this day until his last day. Lady Mormont speaks harshly and truly. We are not a large house, we're a proud one. And every man from Bear Island fights with the strength of ten men. Winter is here, Your Grace. I don't plan on knitting by the fire while men fight for me. We need the king in the north in the north. Indeed you are, my lady. No one is quite. I don't need your permission to defend the north. 